In this video I'm going to give you a quick look on how to set up your text codes in Commander, which are fairly simple to set up. In order to do this we're going to go up here to the Maintain tab, drop down to where it says Sales Tax, and you'll have a choice between text codes and text authorities. Initially you're going to want to select text codes. Now to understand how this works, it's important to recognize that the tax code and tax authorities are linked together. So up at the top I have a tax code called NT which I've selected here for non-taxable. I can put whatever description I want here. I've put it as tax exempt and of course I'm linking that to my corresponding general ledger account number for state sales tax that is payable so that it'll print correctly on my general ledger reports. Once I have my tax code selected, I'm going to drop down here to tax authorities. Now the tax authority is actually the thing that determines the sales tax rate or percentage that gets charged. And in order to control the tax authorities, we're going to go over here to the right where it says add existing tax authority code. And in here we can create tax authority codes. For non-taxable here I have one which I'll just click edit so that you can see it and you're going to see here where the tax value is set to zero and this value is actually what controls the amount that gets charged when we're using NT as our tax code. So again, tax codes and tax authorities are linked together. Here's one for CA for California and you'll notice that immediately as soon as I select CA for California my tax authority here is also set to CA. These can be called whatever you want to name them, it doesn't really matter. But what does matter is in the actual tax authority here, you have the correct value set for the tax rate for your specific state, city, and county. It is possible also to add multiple tax authorities under one tax code. So if for some reason your tax code or tax rate needs to be divided between multiple tax authorities, where possibly your state gets a certain percentage, the city gets a percentage and possibly the uh, county gets a percentage. You can actually have multiple tax authorities here linked to a single tax rate and Commander will add the specific percentage charged for each tax authority and charge that tax rate. Uh, you can change the tax codes of course anytime uh, by just changing the percentage that's being charged in the tax authority. So if you do have a change in your tax rate this is where you come to change it. Before you start using Commander, you're going to want to make sure that your sales tax percentage is set correctly. And of course, anytime you go to your customers section in Commander and you're adding a customer, you will be able to select their corresponding tax code here. Uh, I'm going to hit refresh here just to show I have non-taxable and California. So if they were going to charge California sales tax, I would choose California. And that's how I would set up those customers if they were taxable. If they were a non-taxable customer or a reseller, I would simply choose my non-taxable tax code and save that in the customer's profile so that the correct amount of sales tax was actually charged.